To Hastings Castle, built by William the Conqueror and now purchased by the corporation, Princess Elizabeth is escorted by the mayor at the start of her Sussex tour. And by gift of the owner, the nearby glens too now belong to the town. In the grounds, 12 fishermen, members of the lifeboat crew, are presented to Her Royal Highness. As a memento, Princess Elizabeth joins the well-known fishermen's charity organization, the Winkle Club, and is presented with a gold and pearl emblem. At the central cricket ground, 10,000 people, including 5,000 children, welcome Princess Elizabeth when she arrives to receive the title deeds. The glens and cliffs were presented by Major Carlisle Sayer to mark this festival year. After handing the deeds to the mayor, the princess speaks. I am very glad to see so many children here, since the future is in their hands. The castle and the cliff and glens will one day be in their keeping, and I know they will see to it that this heritage will remain unspoiled. In the county town, the mayor of Lewis, Alderman Parish, does the honours at Southover Grange, where the princess planted a tree and it's a big moment for some of the Scots. At Worthing, nurses form a guard of honour at Cortland's Recovery Hospital, which Princess Elizabeth declared open. During her four days tour, the princess is covering a wide area of Sussex, so there's not a lot of time to spare. So on to Worthing Town Hall. Escorted by the mayor, Alderman Green, the princess inspects the guard of honor and a flag seller receives a donation for the NSPCC from its president.